Hey, what is going on, SMT Nation? It's your boy, the SMT. Uh, we're speed testing T-Mobile in this video. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to speed test the T-Mobile network on its two parts. We're going to do 4G LTE, and then we're going to do 5G. We're going to start with the LTE side. I've disabled all 5G bands. We are strictly on LTE right now. There is the tower site configurations that we have. There is the T-Mobile gear with all the NR. You've got the smaller antennas. Uh, you guys can see that that is the 2.5 gigahertz N41. Larger one's got the band 71. And then there's this part here, this tower site. And it's got gear up there for AT&T and Verizon. All right, so anyways, let's go ahead and test it. Let's see how the LT holds up. Let's see how the 5G, the NR holds up. All right, so I have disabled all 5G bands. All that it's connected to right now is LTE. All right, so... Um, it still reads 5G there. I don't know why the speed test app didn't update it. But no problem. We got 30 millisecond ping. We got an 8 millisecond jitter. We got 112 megabits per second on the downlink. And then on the uplink, looks like we have about 11 megabits per second. In my opinion, that's good. That's plenty of downlink. The uplink is, I'd say, just good enough. You know, not much headroom. A little bit of congestion would probably make it, you know, unbearable, probably be tough. Uh, but actually, uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and put this into 5G mode. I'm going to select all bands to undo me putting it into LTE. Apply band configuration. You'll see that the 5G icon returns. Let's go ahead and run our speed test. We do have 5G now. We should see a lot more capacity in this test. It's one of those things where, you know... The 5G on our side just has way more capacity on it. So, oh, oh that's weird. <laughs> that's not really showing much anything. I'm, I'm almost positive that this is an N41 site. I mean, we got the gear up there. Oops, our pound, 0011. Defaulting to N71, why isn't it connecting to the N41? All right, let's go ahead and airplane mode it. We'll see if we can get it right. Run a new speed test. Should be able to get it this time. I mean, it's I can see the antennas up there. It's definitely N41. Wow. I just speed tested it, guys. Looks like we're having some N41 problems. I'll show you the results. I just tested it. it. Was getting 432 by 54. So now it's being a little bit finicky. I wonder why. Yeah, 15 megahertz. Band 71, N71. Interesting how it doesn't want to do the N41. Maybe I should disable the N71 and see what happens. Oh, I'm surprised. So we got a finicky N41 site over here. Wow. It was just connecting. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to disable N71. Just because I want to, you know, I want to get a good gauge of what type of speeds we'll see here. I want you guys to be able to see. All right, so let's go to the dialer. Star pound, 2263 pound. Uh, we'll go to the NR. And we're going to disable band 71. And we're going to apply band configuration. All right. So now we've turned off N71. And it's not picking up NR anymore. <laughs> I wonder why it's... Yeah. All right. So this is not a great site. It was connected before. No longer connecting. Wow. Interesting. We got a, okay, now it's picking it up. Okay, so that's good. Maybe we're connected. I wonder why, come on. Now the app's crashing and this whole testing session is falling apart. There we go. There's our N41. All right, let's confirm it. Uh, let's go back to the dialer. 
star pound zero zero one one pound all right 15 megahertz band 2 and 60 megahertz and 41 Oops. All right, let's run it again yeah maybe it's a new site you know I haven't tested it before Maybe it needs some optimization. Maybe they got to work some, work through some things. But in my opinion, the speeds are pretty good. Um, I, I mean, I had a, nothing to complain about. 38 millisecond ping. Got one millisecond jitter. 462 megabits on the down. And we got about 31 megabits on the up. No loss, no nothing. So that's pretty good. We're going to run one more test. Surprising that I had such trouble connecting. I'm going to go ahead and after this test, I'm going to go back to the default setting. I'm going to just turn on all NR bands. I'm going to see if it holds the N41. But this is a painful reminder that, you know, the, the technicians and the networking, it's going to take a little bit of time to, to become optimized and, and work better. So we patiently await the day when it is flawless. 38 millisecond ping, one millisecond jitter, very similar to the first test. 449 down and about 34 megabits on the up. All right, so let's go ahead and get back to our bands. I'm gonna just take it back to standard. I'm gonna select all bands, apply band configuration, and we'll test it and we'll see if it still sticks to the N41. We'll see. All right, good. Looks like we are stuck to the N41. Yeah, I don't I don't know what it is about sometimes it wants to just connect to the 71. I mean, if the 41 is in range, I mean, look how close I am, right? I mean, what are we talking about here? A couple hundred feet, 300 feet maybe, if that. 464 down. Looks like about 35 megabits per second on the uplink. 36 millisecond ping, one millisecond jitter. That's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to show you guys. Brand new N41 site. T-Mobile's got it rocking. They got the N71, the N41 combo. Speeds are good. Again, if you're on T-Mobile, you got to get a 5G phone. That's where the capacity is. The LTE is not bad, but way more capacity on the 5G side. Get yourself a 5G phone and enjoy the capacity upgrades. Thanks to everybody for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, enjoyed the content, do me a solid. Give it a like, thumbs up. All right, go ahead and share it to your socials. That helps out in a big way. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Thank you for taking this opportunity to watch the SMT YouTube channel. If you appreciated this video, give it a like and a share to all your favorite social media platforms. Thank you in advance for that. Also, check out some of the links in the description box. We have the SMT Patreon page. We also have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech. And do check out the audio-only podcast available on all the major podcast platforms. And if you are new have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.